Let us share with you our memories of Pete, our deacon and our friend, lovingly nicknamed Pete the Deacon by his friends. And although he has found his place with our Father in Heaven, he will forever be in our hearts. I'd like to welcome you to a special tribute to Mr Peter Brogan. Um, it's a big thank you to Mrs Pallister and to the children for all their hard work in terms of writing the prayers and sharing their thoughts. And uh, from my perspective, I would like to say a big thank you to Peter for all he's done for the school as a deacon, as a governor, and as a friend of the school. And I've known Peter a long time, taught his children, and he christened all my children. So um, it's a difficult time for us, and we're thinking of his family, uh, Mary, and his uh, children. Uh, but he will always be fondly remembered, and uh, we will keep him very much in our thoughts. We'll miss him coming to school and being cheeky, um, but we have so many fond memories and, and great things to remember him for. So at this difficult time, uh, it's very important that we do a tribute to say a big thank you to Peter. So always in our thoughts, always in our prayers, and as a man of faith, we know that he is in heaven. So uh, there's a lot of comfort there. So uh, this is a big celebration for him. So thank you, Peter. We will always remember you. Dear Lord, we thank you for the life of Peter whom we loved and all the years we shared with him. We lift him to you today in honour of the good we saw in him and the love we felt from him. Amen. A reading from the letter St Paul to the Ephesians. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. Peter was born and bred in Lincoln. He himself went to St Hugh's Primary School and St Peter and St Paul's Secondary School. Peter was at the heart of the community at St Hugh's, serving both the school and the parish in various roles over the years. His bond not only with the Catholic community of Lincoln, but his service in the Lincolnshire Fire Brigade as a fireman showed his service and dedication to the people in the city of Lincoln. He was ordained deacon at St. Hugh's in October 1993. In this time, he served both parishes of St. Hugh's and St. Peter and St. Paul's. In addition, he was chaplain in both SSPP and St. Hugh's School. Canon Bernard Needham appointed Peter as pastoral assistant around the time of the millennium. Peter could always be seen in school carrying around his missile and always relied up on to support school mass here in our school hall or support the school by leading adoration or liturgies as a chaplain. Peter also worked with young adults who had learning disabilities at a house on Broughton Gardens. He raised funds and led pilgrimages to Lords and was also a chaplain for Lincoln HCPT's pilgrimage to Lords in 2016. We will be forever grateful for his service for many years as a governor, deacon and chaplain to the staff and pupils here at St Hughes. Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy, whose trust ever childlike no cares could destroy, be there at our waking and give us free
would always greet you with a smile and all right ducky was a common phrase of affection um, he made you feel welcome at school and church and no wonder he was loved by the whole of the Lincoln community. A chat would end in a fit of laughter or a giggle due to something outrageous he had said and we will miss him so much. Pete the Deep was an inspiration to me and I am privileged to have known him all my life. He helped my faith go strong and I thank him for preparing me for the sacraments of First Holy Communion and Confirmation. I had the pleasure of going on my first pilgrimage to Lourdes with him in 2009, an experience I will always remember. I will never forget his infectious laugh and watching him pull funny faces at me during Mass. And I will miss seeing him on the altar as St Hugh's doing what he loved most. Peter was somebody who always made me laugh. It didn't matter what mood I was in. He would just come in and he would just say something funny and make me laugh. He was very good to talk to as well. You could, we had lots and lots of jokes together, but we also had quite a few conversations and he'd say to me, that's it, well, I'm off now, now that we've put the world to rights. I think I'm always going to miss him. I think I'll never stop expecting him to just come walking into the school. Um, he was just a good friend to have. My recollection of Peter, my happiest moments, were, would always be coming here to school in the morning and having the morning coffee and chat with the rest of the bus drivers. And his favourite phrase was, now Andrew, I'm not one to moan. And he would say that regularly with such a pan and stoic look on his face. I miss him now. He will be missed by everybody. He was such a big laugh. Uh, when I arrived at St Hugh's, Peter Brogan made me feel incredibly welcome and wanted and valued. I really am going to miss him. He was an amazing man. We thank you for Peter, my bus driver and my friend. Lord, hear my prayer. We thank you for all the ways in which Peter served our school as a deacon. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you for your warmth and making people feel welcomed into our school. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you for the support Peter gave the children in their Holy Communion, enabling children to encounter Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you for his support in schools, helping on many school trips or at a PTA fundraiser, the many carol services or at some assemblies. Lord, hear us. We thank you for every child's life he enriched by his service and investment of himself as a governor of St. Hugh's School. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you for the glorious treasury of memories that are ours to keep, to hold on to and enjoy. The moments that were deep, special and personal. The times that ran with laughter and fun. Lord, hear our prayer. This is Deacon Peter. Why did you choose a religious life? Well, I was brought up as a Roman Catholic. I went to church on a regular basis, uh, but I became lapsed. And then suddenly I saw a moment in my life where I saw a, the film called The Song of Bernadette. And in that film, uh, Mary appears to a little girl at Lourdes. And from that moment, uh, something clicked within me that I had to go back to church. And what with the love that I had with all my family over the years and the people in St. Jude's, the community of faith that I work with and belong to, uh, that was born out of that really, that I wanted to serve God uh, and do what God ever wanted me to do. And that's where it came from really. I think it was born out of my family life, being brought up a Catholic, going to church on a regular basis. And then... Uh, Myself going to church and being involved in the life of the church, marrying a Catholic, uh, it was born out of that, out of love and out of the prayers of not only my wife, but also my, uh, my family, which I've always been supported by.